The Indian Prime Minister will hold a meeting with Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on March 27. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina inaugurated Bangladesh Infrastructure Development Fund. And the government has extended a freeze on the jail sentences of Khalid Azia by six months. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I am Fawzal Roshan with you in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines, so now I am going to the details. Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momen said Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will visit Bangladesh to attend the birth sanitary celebrations of a father of the nation, Bangabuntu Sheikh Muzbi Rahman, as well as the Golden Jubilee celebrations of independence on March 26. The Indian Prime Minister will hold a meeting with his Bangladesh counterpart, Sheikh Hasina, on March 27. During the meeting, three memoranda of understanding are likely to be signed. The Foreign Minister said this at a program in Foreign Service Academy, Dhaka on Monday. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina inaugurated Bangladesh Infrastructure Development Fund aiming to finance different development projects from the country's own fund. The BIDF that formed taking funds from the foreign exchange reserves began its journey through financing to the capital and maintenance dragging in Rambaba, the channel of the Pira port. To this end, a two-party agreement between the Finance Division, Pirate Port Authority and the Shonali Bank was signed today at the Finance Division, BIDF, as in the world of which with the finance development activators. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina joined the signing ceremony as the chief guest virtually from her official residence, Gonob Hobon. The government has extended a freeze on the jail sentences of a BNP chairperson Khalid Azia by six months in two corruption cases. Home Minister Sadhu Zaman Khan Kamal confounded the matter to the journalist at his office. Under the terms, she will not be able to leave the country in the six months, taking a specialized treatment from inside the country. Younger brother of Khalid Azia submitted an application for extending the release date of father that ends March 25. On February 8, 20, a special court convicted Khalida and sentenced her to five years imprisonment in the Zia Orphanage Trust graft case. BNP has expressed surprise over the ban imposed by the DMP on political parties during the Golden Jubilee celebrations of state independence and demanded its ripple. At a press conference, the party's Secretary General Mirza Farkul Islam Alamgu said the directive would disrupt the main purpose of the Shuburno Jayanti celebrations. BNP Secretary General Mirza Farkul Islam Alamgu called for reserving the division to cancel Zia Rahman's medal. The party's standing committee member, Kondokar Musharraf was an alleged that the government had to be violated people's rights by depriving them of a democracy. Avamilik General Secretary Obadul Kader has said that the spirit of the liberation war is a tool of self-interest for the BNP. He said this during a regular briefing at his official residence in the morning. Kader said Zia Rahman illegally seized power and killed of political activists and civilians, including members of the army and the air force, to retain the power. Mentioning that BNP was involved in all political assassinations, including August 15 and 21st. The British minister said the hidden international and anti-people face of BNP behind the mask is now clear to the country and the people. Coronavirus infection has been on the rise in the country for the past one week. Health experts fear that if the hygiene rules are not followed properly, the infection may increase. 1,159 people were identified in corona yesterday, which is the highest identification record in the last two 
and a half months, 17 people died. According to the Department of Health, the daily direction rate in the country ranged from 2.28 to 3.30 percent in February, but has risen to more than 5 percent this month. Meanwhile, despite the nationwide vaccination program, many people are unaware of the hygiene rules. Jora Gonj Highway Police have arrested a lorry driver in connection with the death of two mechanics in a head-on collision between a lorry and a microbus at Meshora in Chittagong. The driver was arrested at 5 a.m. today. The name of the arrested driver is Ali Akkas. Police said lorry driver Ali Akkas had been on the run since the incident. On March 13, two instrumentalists. Parthu Pratim Guhu and Hanif Ahmed were killed in a road accident in Meshorai. We are about to the end of the headlines once again. The Indian Prime Minister will hold a meeting with Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on March 27. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina inaugurated Bangladesh Infrastructure Development Fund. The government has extended a freeze on the dual sentences of Kalidazia by six months. Thirty-eight protesters have been killed in one of the bloodiest days yet in Myanmar. And West Indies beat Sri Lanka by five wickets, sold the ODI series. That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with My TV News Online, visit YouTube slash My TV News. And to watch all your programs, visit YouTube slash My TV Bangla, Facebook slash My TV Bangla, and the Twitter slash My TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. And don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Viewers, be careful to prevent coronavirus and follow the hygiene rules. Allah Hafiz.